about 1999, um, I travelled to the East End of London with my parents. Um, they were reliving their history, their sort of their Jewish background in the, in the East End during the wartime, and um, I got very interested. And I went back and I went on a tour um, just to sort of get more of a perspective of the history. And I must admit, it, it left me hungry for more. The tour didn't really go very far, so I researched and cut a long story short to around about later that year I launched London Jewish Tours and it's been running from 1999 it ran to about three years ago off and on I did the odd tour but it was an exciting time I took uh, parties of school children synagogues churches individuals tourists um, TV crews and um, it was great um, except the only sort of negative was that as you know, the years went on the encroachment of, of say the yuppie culture with with the building projects and, and the unfortunately buildings being knocked down sort of made it not so pleasurable but uh, there's still plenty there that would interest people so I've decided um, to start this thing again the first one is March the 13th on a Sunday and um, the idea is that we meet up outside Tower Hill station and uh, we go on a walk and um, it's very casual we don't rush um, I look at the party of people there and we decide you know who's the slowest and, and that's the person that we will time ourselves by let's say um, so what we do we we walk around the area of um, uh, Spitalfields and Whitechapel and we look at areas of Jewish history in London very very fascinating there's plenty there um, that can remind us of the story going right back to the 13th century and um, we also look at uh, the immigrations in the um, uh, 16th 17th century and then in the, obviously in the 19th 20th century um, we look at evidences uh, there's no Jews anymore there's just a, a, what, four or five synagogues left it's very much an interesting area in that half of it is, is now sort of Bengali is a Muslim and the other half is Yuppie. It's a mixture of these two cultures that you can't imagine living together, but, but they do, it seems. And um, but we walk around that, we walk for two hours, let's say, then we have lunch, uh, probably in the Spitalfield Centre, um, another interesting place, and then another two hours, and then we finish um, usually at Whitechapel Station on the district line, um, finish usually at about four o'clock, no, it'd be earlier than that, about three o'clock. Um, or even earlier than, than that it depends on you know when you've had enough um so it's it's always entertaining we have a good time good time of fellowship um we're doing it from a christian perspective so we'll look at areas that are important to the say the christian jewish story you know sites of where say messianic work uh, happened in the 19th century and and world jewish evangelism actually started in the east end of london during that time many ministries you see now like CMJ and Messianic Testimony and uh, CWI they, they all started as ministries at that time at that place so it's a fascinating story so get in touch if you're interested um, go to the website and book up and uh, hopefully we'll see you in March and uh, hopefully if it's successful we'll carry on and do many more throughout the year okay thank you